Hey guys, uh, today I want to do a review. Uh, if you remember uh, some of the earlier videos of Three Lakes I did, uh, you heard me say that the Verizon signal out here was one or two bars at best of LTE and that my T-Mobile was, it, it never happened, it wasn't there. Uh, I looked around and I was trying to find a way to boost the Wi-Fi, the, the hotspot for T-Mobile, uh, without being too expensive. WeBoost makes uh, a bigger unit and it's about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up and then I'll put it in the video. But I think, it, I know it's in between four and 500. But they make this one and it's, uh, it's for your car is what it's for. You take this, this is the actual booster it has an amplifier in it uh, that's where the power cord and the antenna and you mount this to your dash whoop, with this okay uh, and it slides down in there and then what you do is you slide your phone down in here and it it boosts the signal of course here's the power cord it's a USB uh, it comes with a cigarette lighter plug it comes with a cigarette lighter plug. I had to go get it. With two USBs. Or you can uh, you can plug it in. This this did not come with it. This is this is mine. But you can plug it in and just use AC. I've been running it off the solar and it doesn't it doesn't take a lot of juice. When this when you plug this in, there's a green light right here that comes on and you know it's working. You run the antenna out. I have it on top of the coach. I'll, I'll put up a picture of what the antenna is, but it's only four inches at best, and it has a real small base, and it's a magnet. Uh, it's really windy here, guys. Sorry. That's why I'm inside. But anyways, it has a really small magnet, and that magnet has to be on metal because it grounds it out, grounds the antenna out. And I have it up on my air horn. Uh, I've had this for two weeks. I wanted to make sure it worked before I said anything good or bad about it. And I didn't want to climb back up there and get it all and run the rewire on the wire. I will show you the, it's a really small cable that comes into this off that antenna. I think it's 12 or 14 foot. Uh, I can see right there's the antenna. It's just a, it's a little bit, I'm amazed at it, that it picks anything up. But it, it does. Uh, so you, you screw the antenna in, you, you, you give it power, you put it down, and then all I do is I put my hotspot in this and I just lay it there. This has an amplifier and it will only let so strong a signal come in that it doesn't burn your phone or your hotspot or whatever you put in it. In. It has a, it's a safety feature. Uh, so when I got my T-Mobile and I got out here three lakes with my T-Mobile, I'm sorry, I turned it on and it was a red signal, which is zero. Uh, when I put it on my phone and tried to see if it, it would have any kind of signal, because sometimes it would turn green, which is the faintest of signal you can have for it, but it wasn't enough to even show a signal uh, on the little app that I have that shows your uh, Wi-Fi signal. I called T-Mobile and they said the closest 3G, 4G from me was Post Office Road and that is nine miles away. Now pay attention to the nine miles because I got this two weeks ago, plugged it in, put the antenna on top, put my T-Mobile on it and I went from a zero signal and it's, I've, it stays about 18 to 20 but it's been as high as 25. It picked that signal up from nine miles away. It did, I, I ain't lying, it really did. Nine miles away. Uh, and it, it never interrupts. I also, every once in a while, I have a Verizon phone. I have a, a iPhone 6 Plus. And in the coach, not so much outside, for some reason in the coach, I'll get drop calls. I can lay my phone in this and never, the, I'll, I'll never lose a, uh, a call. 
the you know your little bar on your phone i don't gain any bars but i'm not getting drop call either so it's obviously it's boosting something uh let me go back and i'll get it all rehooked back up and i will show you the hot spot with no signal and then you put it in it and like that you get a signal and according to t-mobile the best 3g 4g signal starts at post office road is what they said and that was nine miles away and that little bitty four inch antenna picks it up and i've been watching sling i've been watching youtube everything now my upload on the t-mobile is only like a 0.5 i mean it's nothing uh, i can't upload a video i either have to go up to st cloud or i have to go south down to okeechobee that's like the two closest towns and there's a starbucks and dunkin donuts so let me get this hooked up and i will show you okay guys i'm up in the front of the coach that's where i have it hooked up uh i had this over there this does not come with the wee boost i was grabbing stuff this is the uh the power plug to recharge my uh, t-mobile it only comes with the one power cord and it comes with but it does come with the cigarette lighter plug or you can have your own and i just use an apple one for the usb and i'll plug it into electric and then this right here is the cable for the antenna it's not very big and it says in the instructions it's safe to shut it in the door of your vehicle because it's made for a car uh and it and it's tough enough that it doesn't hurt it but i have it plugged in and if you look right there that's the power that it's on but this is my t-mobile this is battery this over here is the power that'll come on here in a second takes it a minute to boot up okay there you have it it is red I have zero okay so my latest down right here uh, on my phone I have it's a speed test this is the one that uh, my uh, internet provider at home back in Ohio told me to use I doubt it even finds anything usually it's looking and it, and it just keeps doing this it doesn't find anything so we get out of that and all I want to do is lay this in here okay now give it a minute and I will probably fast forward the all right I shut it off back on so it'll it'll come on and find a signal takes it a second actually a lot of seconds we're turning the minutes this is the one I want to turn blue and it will I know it will really okay this is the power that is uh, Wi-Fi, and that is my blue signal, okay? Now, I have my phone on. Before, it couldn't even find nothing, okay? So, this is, like I said, this is the speed test that I use. See, it already tells me to begin test four. wouldn't even do that. It'll send a ping out. Coa, Florida. Usually it is uh, Orlando, but we'll see what it does. I can change that. Now, before I had nothing. I mean, it's picking this up from nine miles away. That is, that's amazing. To me, it is anyway. Okay, let me change this. We're going to change the server. 
let it finish its and we'll retest it but it got a 13 and that, that's plenty enough to watch YouTube or anything we'll test it again uh, Julie was here for her her 10 days uh, we never shot a video with her here uh, this is hosted by T-Mobile it's not strong but that's that's strong enough to watch YouTube or anything, because when I'm at the campground, I got about a five, and we watch it. So that's out of Orlando. But your upload is—I've never hit a one. It may hit a one today, but but that would take like forever to upload a video. There you have it. There you have it. So. Well, I was on the one server, I was a 13 and then a uh, a 7, so. There you have it. it. It's it's crazy how this thing picks up the uh, the signal that far away. I'm I'm really impressed with it. Like I said, it you can go on Amazon. This is the the car kit is basically what it is. It's for a car. It's not the big one you put in your RV. It's a lot cheaper. Uh, I wanted to try this one, and it would not scare me to spend the four or five hundred dollars for the big one if I was full time, one hundred percent, and never wanted to lose my signal. I believe you could be out in the middle of the desert and it'd find a signal somewhere. It's crazy how it works. But there you have it. It uh, it's easy to put in. Like I said, all you have is the antenna, and you run it up to the unit. You plug it into cigarette lighter. Put your, your phone or your hotspot in it like I did, and there you go. It works. So there you go, guys. I hope this this helps. Anybody that's boondocking, or even if you're not boondocking, out in some RV park in the middle of nothing, you don't have a signal on your cell phone or your hotspot, it is good for any carrier. T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, whoever. It works for them all. Because uh, when I was looking for a booster, uh, I had a guy tell me, I don't know how true it is, but I had a guy tell me that you have to find the right, all the electronic, 700 this and the megahertz and all that. You had to find the right antenna for it. I'm like, crap, how do you do that? And then I ran across this. There's a lot of guys on YouTube that use this too. Uh, driving and vibing, that's the first place I've seen it. Uh, and they have the one in the their little Ranger, which is like this. And then they have the big one in their camper. But uh, they was boondocking, oh gosh, I don't even, they was out in Colorado somewhere in the middle of nothing, and they was just like me. They had no T-Mobile. Uh, they had the same binge on like I have. They had nothing, and turned this on, and they had their signals watching Netflix and stuff. So there you go. Hope it helps, guys. Thanks for watching.